Well, what's up everybody? And good afternoon from the Philippines, from Nervasia province, Santa Rosa. Well, this afternoon we're gonna barbecue some hamburgers that I made up here. Got six big juicy patties. Have to flip the camera to show it because my son wanted hamburgers. So I'm gonna do a few for him, show you what I did. So I got, keep the flies away. Got six big patties I made up here, hitting my camera. Cause you know, you gotta fight the elements here when you're doing stuff. Got some uh, patties I made up. About to throw them on the grill here. And we eat some cheeseburgers this afternoon. So I'm gonna try to set up the camera because I don't have an assistant to help me. So here we go. So I did the best I could on the camera. Now, without burning myself, get these, uh, get this plate over here. It is hot, I'll tell you that. So, we shall get busy. Always good to have a little Swiss Army knife with you. Multiple uses. Yes, ma'am, I have money for you. My lovely bride. I cannot stop doing it because it's filling up. My lovely bride needs some money. Oh my God, my son, are you vlogging? Yes. Well, we'll have to start like this. Got a couple burgers on the grill. My camera fell over. And one of the tripod legs broke. So we'll do it in parts. Here's part one. So there's the end result. Six big thick burgers I handmade myself. Hope the hamburger buns I made are big enough for them. There's my audience looking at me. It's Valentine's Day, so there's two pretty lovely ladies right there. Hi. Hi. Hey again. And Sophia, she just doesn't say anything. It's my little girl. Yes, yeah, she just smiles. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, the grill got up to like 300 and something degrees. Let me close it. If you want to, what, you want to see this? There's my Valentine's right there. Yay. Look at Happy her. Happy Valentine's, she looks, she everyone. Looks all cute. She looks like love. <laughs> so what's up, baby? She will take photos. Yeah, no, it's a pile of... Let's go okay. here. Okay, hey. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I got a cup. Yeah, yeah, only... <laughs> it's Valentine's Day, man. Hey, I got all day. <laughs> One, two... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> While well, sitting outside on a hot summer day in the Philippines, Keep them with the Philippine tradition. Get you some beer. Here's the San Miguel. Drop it in a pitcher of ice. Pour it in whatever. Here I'm just using a coffee cup. Don't matter to me. Keep your beer cold. That's really a way they serve it here in the Philippines. If you go out to a bar or something, a restaurant, they give you a bucket of ice and some beer. because they don't keep it in coolers 
like you would normally do it. So to stay warm, uh, to stay warm, I'm very warm. To stay cool on this nice, beautiful day, the wind is blowing. I'm sitting underneath the banana coconut trees, grilling some burgers. I have to admit, my problem is I don't have too much charcoal and I got to get the temperature up a little more. I'm using the rest we had from the other night doing steaks, but this is my backdrop. Got this, what's called a dwarf coconut tree. So you ain't got to worry about nothing falling on your head. It's got three or four big ones and a whole bunch of little ones. And I, I don't know whether they're ready to eat yet. But most people take them like that when they're green and get the juice out of them and make, I think, what's called a boko juice. And, uh, and they scoop the meat out of it, which is not hard like we're used to. It's really soft and it's cut up in pieces and put in the coconut juice and you drink that cold. It's, it's very good. So if you're ever stuck on a desert island and you're dying of thirst, get a green coconut and chop it open and that will quench your thirst. <laughs> but our other coconut tree is blooming. It's got lots of flowers on it. You see there, that's the bloom, the start of the coconuts. And this thing sheds, so we'd have to do some fine tuning, but you don't have to worry about it growing 100 feet high in the air and dropping a, dropping a coconut on you and killing you like the normal trees you're used to. So that's my backdrop. And I gotta work on this grill to build up the fire. I should have picked up another bag of coals, but you know, I just remember I think there's a little bag of coals in this little Kubo we used to use. No, I guess I was dreaming. I thought there was another partial bag of charcoal in here. Nope, I was wrong. But a storm came through and tore this, tore that little thing up. Yeah, there's some charcoal right there. Ta-da! A little bag of charcoal. So, we are in business. This may be enough to catch the rest on fire. So, I'm gonna put this camera down and put this charcoal in there. Now I got some more charcoal in the grill and that's doing very well, I hope. I'm just watching for the temperature to come up. That is my old trusty grill of a lot of years. I wanna say, man, I've had, you probably won't believe me, I had this grill maybe about 10 years, long time, bought it for $99 in the PX, so it's, yeah, it's been a long, long time, maybe not as long, okay, we'll say at least seven, seven years is probably more like it, so anyway, life is good join San Miguel in the Philippines looking at this beautiful house everything's coming together lots of bugs 
can't see them, but boy, they're here. So the temperature is rising. That's good. That is very good. Ignite that. I was telling my son, uh, hamburgers won't take long. I should have walked to the market and bought some uh, charcoal, but I just didn't feel like it in the hot sun. It takes a bit of negotiations when you're going shopping. I don't mind going shopping, I go by myself. Show people the Philippines is a pretty safe place to go. It's just a little different than what you're used to. Like in the supermarkets, you can't get everything. The supermarket doesn't have fresh vegetables. They don't sell that in the supermarkets. You gotta go to the outdoor market called the Palenque to buy fruits and vegetables and such. Some supermarkets do, but it's not that much. The variety is very limited. You can buy potatoes, like we were in SNR specialty store. You gotta pay to be a membership there. We got that card. But you can get uh, potatoes, onions, garlic, and it's maybe some ginger, something else but not the ton of fruits and vegetables you see in the open market. You won't see all that there. But it's cheaper buying the vegetables in the open market than in, in the big supermarkets. I've only been in one other one that I like, but it's farther in Kevin the on. I can't think of the name of it. I like going to that store. It's got everything in it, not just groceries. It's got furniture. You can just browse, and the prices are great. So you can save a lot of money shopping in places like that if you just know where to go shop. You can buy a lot of stuff. So I just wanted to see SNR. It would not be a place that I would buy all my stuff from. It's just some specialty foreign stuff that you would look for, like from stuff you want from back home. You know, steaks are good there though. Have to give them that. But chicken and all that, buy that someplace else. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see when we get here next year. So, just chicken on this grill. So I'll give y'all an update later on how the uh, hamburgers are coming. Ciao. So we're about at the end. We got about three burgers already. We have hungry people over there that are bothering me, keep looking at me. We're hungry, we're hungry. Here comes the boss. So, Poe, what can I do for you? <laughs> Just keep loving me. Okay, that's easy enough. <clears throat> we can do that. So let me let the cheese melt and you can have them. When I say so we'll take a short pause. When I say that, you can melt my food right away, just on top of my face. Opo. You want it in your face or on top of your face? On top of my mouth. So here's the proof it's in the pudding, as they say. So my baby is trying out a homemade burger. Go ahead, let me know whether it's good, bad, or indifferent. Mmm. 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 Mm. Super good. Is it good? Yes. Okay. I just need to taste good. And these two, we have the lovebirds here sharing a Valentine's Day hamburger. Nah. Thank you for coming, Sophia. Finally, I cook for you. Caught you. All right, the pause for the cause. <laughs>